uh, welcome back for the third uh, musical theatre pub quiz. Uh, thank you for watching, thank you for your feedback, thank you for your Twitter messages. It's great to know that these quizzes are entertaining people, getting them out of the real world for an hour. Um, so this is the third one. This is great, I'm really loving it, and I thought I'd wear um, something that's green for this one. I'll also introduce you to my uh, my little Audrey too here, um, that uh, myself and my husband made for our musical-themed um, wedding last year. And I have to say, I'm quite, um, quite, quite proud of it. Ah. Um, so, uh, less of that, let's go on to um, round one. Okay, so round one, as always, is the composer's round. I'm going to give you a show, and you just need to tell me uh, who composed the music for that show. Uh, now, um, we're focusing on the composers, not the book writers. Uh, if you know the composer, if it's a part of a writing team, try and give me the composer. If not, then you can have the point anyway. Hopefully, as we go through um, these each time I do it, you learn which one of them is the book writer and which one is the composer as we go along. But uh, for now, there are ten shows. Just give me the composer. Okay, number one. This show is Acorn Antiques. Who wrote the music for the musical Acorn Antiques? Number... Two, The King and I. Who composed the music for The King and I? Number three is Rent. Number three, Rent. I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit for the last two, just to kind of keep on your toes. I hope it's not too fast for you. Number four is Miss Saigon. So who wrote the music for the show, Miss Saigon? Number five. I directed the uh, the Welsh premiere of this musical. I love it. It's a beautiful show. The Last Five Years. Who wrote the musical, The Last Five Years? Number six. Top Hat. Who provided the music for Top Hat? Number seven is Porgy and Bess. Number seven, Porgy and Bess. Number eight, Sunday in the Park with George. Who composed the musical? Sunday in the Park with George. Number nine is Love Never Dies. That's number nine. Paint Never Dry. Sorry, Love Never Dies. And number ten. Uh, this is another show. Actually, I directed the first production in the UK with a, a semi-pro company and it was such a joyous experience and this show is just a, it's, it's a gorgeous gorgeous school i mean a really underrated musical i think and that is the adams family who composed the music for the adams family musical and that is your 10 for round one check back over them make a guess if you haven't uh, got anything for it and let's move on to round Two. Round two, again, is the lyrics round. So I'm going to give you the lyric to a song, and you have to tell me what musical that song is from. Now, every time I do one of these, I find it harder and harder to find lyrics. Hopefully there's a nice mixed bag here. So number one, what show are these lyrics from? You've got to have a dream... If you don't have a dream, how are you going to have a dream come true? That was number one. Again, it's, you've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how are you going to have a dream come true? What show is that from? 
Number two, these are my friends. See how they glisten. That's number two. These are my friends. See how they glisten. Number three. Now, I think this is a bit more of a difficult one. Might just be me. Let's see if you get it. Left the theatre and called the doctor for my appointment to buy. Sorry, it's quite noisy outside today, but it's really sunny and really hot. So I'm keeping the windows open, so apologies <laughs> for the sound. Um, the backdrop to Sunny Sunny Luton. Uh, again, then, number three. Left the theatre and called the doctor for my appointment to buy. I know some of you will be singing the next bit, which will give it away, but I'm going to resist that temptation. Number four. We're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Again, we're soaring, flying, there's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. What show is that from? Number five. Again, that's certainly a more difficult one. It's never too late to have a fling, for autumn is as nice as spring. What show is that from? It's never too late to have a fling, for autumn is as nice as spring. That's number five. Number six, your swagger and your bearing and your just right clothes you're wearing. Again, number six, your swagger and your bearing and your just right clothes you're wearing. Name the show. Number seven, well, the thin cows were as thin as they had ever, ever, ever been the right number of evers in that one well the thin cows were as thin as they had ever 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 been what show is that from number eight it's a privilege to pee water's worth its weight in gold these days okay eight again is it's a privilege to pee Water's worth its weight in gold these days. Okay, how are you, how are you doing so far? Uh, number nine. He tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch and now my life's complete. Okay, again, number nine. He tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. And finally, number 10 of this lyrics round, round two. This is going to take a lot of effort to not sing the whole lyric. But here we go. Number 10. Moses supposes his toeses are roses. A lot of you will be screaming out for this one. You know it. Okay, number 10. Moses supposes his toeses are roses. What show is that from? Whew, there we go, that was a mouthful. That was round number two, the lyrics round. See you at round number three. <laughs> round number three is a new round. It is a picture round. I know, I'm excited as well. I love a good picture round. So here are ten images. And these images are all close-ups of costumes from musicals. So I'm going to show you 10 images that all zoom in to a specific area of a costume, of an iconic costume for a musical. You just have to tell me the show. All you have to do is tell me what show they are from. So I'll put them on the screen now. And you will see the 10 images. You just have to tell me what show they are from. I've tried to make it a nice balanced one. However, my test audience, I think, were stumped by two of them. There are two slightly more difficult ones in there, I think. But anyway, see how you get on. Rather than me ramble on, feel free to pause this so you can have a look. Otherwise, we're going to go on to round number 
four. Welcome to round number four. This is again my rule of three round, but instead of getting three names, as the last two I did, uh, we're going to do three song titles. So I will give you three songs from a show. Just tell me again what show they are from. Hopefully there's a nice mix here. Some of them I've got clues in, so do have a guess if you're not 100% sure. So number one, the songs are you got trouble. Pick a little, talk a little, and Shapoopy. Okay, the songs are You Got Trouble, Pick a Little, Talk a Little, and Shapoopy. Okay, what show are those songs from? Number two. Ex Wives, Don't Lose Your Head and Heart of Stone. Again, those songs are called Ex-Wives, Don't Lose Your Head, and Heart of Stone. Okay, so if you're not sure, make a guess. Okay, that's, that's show number two. Number three, Go Into Your Dance, Keep Young and Beautiful, and Wear In The Money. I wish. Go into your dance, keep young and beautiful, and wear in the money. What show are those songs from? Okay, moving on. Number four. A Woman's Touch, Hive Full of Honey, and My Secret Love. That's A Woman's Touch, Hive Full of Honey, and My Secret Love. What show are they from? Number five. This is a mouthful. Don't Nobody Bring Me No Bad News. Brand New Day. And Slide Some Oil To Me. Okay, number five again. Don't Nobody Bring Me No Bad News. Brand new day and slide some oil to me. What show is that from? Or those from? Okay, we all doing okay so far. Number six. Sherry, Big Boys Don't Cry and Oh What a Night. So Sherry, Big Boys Don't Cry and Oh What a Night. What show are they from? Number seven. Slightly more difficult one, I think, but I love this show. So the songs are Cards, You Are What You Wear, and This Is Not An Exit. Mm. Some of you should know this. I think a lot of people will struggle with this one, but prove me wrong. Happy to be proven wrong. Okay, the songs again are Cards, You Are What You Wear, and This Is Not An Exit, and that is number seven. Eight, Glory, Spread A Little Sunshine, and Corner Of The Sky. That's number eight. Glory. Spread a little sunshine and corner of the sky. Okay, number nine. Has a bit of a mixed jukebox musical. This is a bit harder, I think. But these three songs are only in the one show. And they are All Shook Up, Gloria and Good Vibrations. What show are those three songs from? All Shook Up. Gloria and Good Vibrations. That's number nine. And the last uh, one on this Rule of Threes round. The three songs are 38 Planes, Me in the Sky, and Welcome to the Rock. 38 Planes, Me in the Sky, and Welcome to the Rock, which is number ten. Take a moment, go back, fill in any you've missed out. Take a guess if you don't know. 
And then let's move on to the final round, round five. <laughs> round five this time is a new round. This is a jukebox musical round. So I'm going to give you the name of the show that is based on the music of a specific artist, performer, or band, etc. You need to tell me who they are. Okay, so for example, if I said Mamma Mia, I would want you to tell me ABBA. Okay, so what band, artist, writer, performer are these shows most associated with? Okay, let's give it a go. See what you think. Number one is Beautiful. Who is associated with the show Beautiful? Number Two, Jagged Little Pill. Who wrote the songs for Jagged Little Pill? Number three, We Will Rock You. Okay, so We Will Rock You for number three. Number four is a sneakier one, I think, slightly harder. Number four, Desperately Seeking Susan. Hmm. Who is associated with Desperately Seeking Susan? Number five, Viva Forever. Which performer, artist, group... Writer, etc., is associated with Viva Forever. Number six, and Juliet. Who is associated with and Juliet? Might be a trickier one, that. Who knows? Number seven. This is the musical The Band. Who wrote the music for The Band or what, what uh, person, group, etc. is associated with The Band. That's number seven. Number eight, The Bodyguard. The Bodyguard is number eight. Number nine, a really underrated musical. This quite short lived, but I really enjoyed it. This is uh, number nine is Sunshine on Leith. Who is associated with Sunshine on Leith? And finally, the last question of this last round, number ten is Our House. Who is associated with the music of Our House? There you go. Five rounds, 50 questions. Let's move on to the answers. So if you're doing it on your own, no cheating. And if you're doing it with other people, swap your papers, etc. Because here we go. The answers for round one, our composer's round. Here we go. Number one, who wrote the music for the show Acorn Antiques? was of course the late great and sorely missed Victoria Wood. A great musical, if you haven't seen it, there's a DVD recording of it, worth getting. Some wonderful choreography by Stephen Mayer, especially Tip Top Tap, which I love that number so much. Um, so yeah, number one is Victoria Wood. Number two, The King and I, Rodgers and Hammerstein, I know you all knew that, but who wrote the music of course, it was Richard Rodgers. So, uh, the extra special point there if you had Richard Rogers. Number three, Rent, was Jonathan Larson. Again, lost much, much too young. But Jonathan Larson there wrote the music for Rent. Number four, Miss Saigon. So, another a duo, Jean Berg and Babil, I believe. My pronunciation is always terrible. The music is written by Claude Michel Schomburg. So 
Miss Saigon, number four. That was written by Claude Michel Schomburg. But if you had Schomburg and Babiel, Babiel and Schomburg, then I have the point. The Last Five Years, number five, written by Jason Robert Brown. So number five is Jason Robert Brown. Number six, Top Hat, was Irving Berlin. The music of Irving Berlin, of course, from, uh, well, some of it from the original film. Obviously, it's a newer show, but it's all music by Irving Berlin. Number seven, Porgy and Bess, is George Gershwin. So number seven, that was George Gershwin. Number eight, Sunday in the Park with George, was, of course, Stephen Sondheim. That's number eight, Sondheim. Number nine, Love Never Dies, was written by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yes, number nine, Andrew Lloyd Webber. And number 10, The Adams Family, is written by the great Andrew Lipper. Number 10, Andrew Lipper. Okay, how did you do? Tally it all up, and then we'll move on to the answers for round two. <laughs> Round two answers. So this is the lyrics round, where I'll give you the lyrics. You just tell me what the show is. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't know why I'm waiting. We'll jump right into it. Number one. You've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how are you gonna have a dream come true? Of course, it is South Pacific. So number one, South Pacific. Two. These are my friends... See How They Glisten is from Sweeney Todd. So the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. So number two, Sweeney Todd. Number three, left the theatre and called the doctor for my appointment to buy. It's from a chorus line. Well done if you got that one. It's a chorus line. Number four, we're soaring, flying, there's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Everyone of a certain age will be screaming this out. It is High School Musical. Number four is High School Musical. Number five. Again, slightly harder one, I thought, but here we go. It's never too late to have a fling, for autumn is as nice as spring. It's never too late to fall in love. Oobadoo, oobadoo, oobadoo. No. Nope. <laughs> the Boyfriend. Number five is The Boyfriend. Number six. Oh, I love this song. Never fails to make me uh, cry, this one. Your swagger and your bearing and your just right clothes you're wearing. Your hair and your dungarees and your ring of keys. It's Fun Home. Beautiful show. So number six is Fun Home. Seven. Uh, a little bit easier, I think. I think a little bit more iconic, maybe for especially for a certain generation. Uh, well, the thin cows were as thin as they had ever, ever, ever been. Is Joseph and the amazing Technicolor drink out? That's Pharaoh's story. Uh, eight. It's a privilege to pee. Water's worth its weight in gold these days. Urine town. So number eight is urine town. Number nine, he tapped me and knocked me off my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. Hairspray. Number nine, hairspray. And ten, you're all going to want to do the rest of this song, I guarantee. Moses supposes his toes are roses. That is singing in the rain. Well done if you got all of them right. So tally them all up um, and... Fill, and um, Write your mark down, and then let's move on then to round number three. Here we are for round number three. I will put the pictures on the screen now. And we will go through. So number one is, that is there, the King of Siam. So that is the King and I. Number two. That little red dress can only belong to a little orphan Annie. Number two is Annie. Number three, Book of Mormon, of course. Number three, there's Book of Mormon. 
Number four is Elsa in Frozen. Number four is Frozen. Number five, well done if you got this new show. I was lucky enough to see it on Broadway last year. Hasn't come over to the UK yet, but it's a brilliant show. Number five is Beetlejuice. Again, that is Beetlejuice. And no, I won't say it a third time. Number six, again, slightly harder for some people, but I think it's quite an iconic element of a costume. Uh, well done if you got it. It's The Lion King. It's Rafiki's hand, um, which is what I always think of when I think of Lion King uh, costumes. So well done if you said that for number six, The Lion King. Number seven, that is, of course, the ball gown that Belle wears in Beauty and the Beast. So number seven is Beauty and the Beast. Number eight, I mean, the only show I know to have an arm cast on, on purpose anyway, it's Dear Evan Hansen. So eight, Dear Evan Hansen. Number nine, now this is sneaky because it's not the original costume, but I think it's one of the most iconic costumes attached to this show. It's Alan Cumming as MC in Sam Mendes' production of Cabaret. So well done if you said Cabaret for number nine. And ten, I mean those fluffy ears can only belong to one show, it is of course Cats. Number ten is Cats. How did you do on that one? I love a picture round, I might do another one next time. Uh, well done if you got all ten. If you did, no worries. Good shot, good, good try. Uh, but let's move on now to round four. <laughs> Round four is the rule of threes round again, but this time with song titles instead of names. So, what show are these songs from? So, number one, you got Trouble, Pick a Little, Talk a Little, and Shapoopy are all from The Music Man. So, number one is The Music Man. Number two, Ex Wives, Don't Lose Your Head, and Heart of Stone all from you probably could have guessed if you didn't know it's six so then if you've got that number two is six number three go into your dance keep young and beautiful and where in the money are all songs from 42nd street so number three 42nd street four a woman's touch hive full of honey and my secret love are all from Calamity Jane. Number four, Calamity Jane. Number five, mouthful again. Don't nobody bring me no bad news. Brand new day and slide some oil to me are all from The Wiz. Number five is The Wiz. Number six, Sherry, Big Boys Don't Cry and Oh What a Night are all from The Jersey Boys. Okay, so the Jersey Boys is number six. Number seven uh, is one of my favourite shows. Well done to anyone who got this. Had a very limited run. Cards, you are what you wear, and this is not an exit, is from Duncan Sheik's American Psycho. So number seven is American Psycho. Well done if you got that one. Number eight, Glory, Spread a Little Sunshine, and Corner of the Sky are from... Pippin. So number eight is Pippin. Number nine, All Shook Up, Gloria and Good Vibrations from Return to the Forbidden Planet. Well done if you got that one. Number nine is Return to the Forbidden Planet. And number ten, another show that never fails to make me just bawl. It's beautiful. It's so so filled with hope and joy for the sort of for human nature. It's a great show. Uh, 38 Planes, Me in the Sky, Welcome to the Rock are all from Come From Away. Number 10, Come From Away. If you haven't seen it, get the soundtrack. It's pretty much sung through most of the way. So the whole album pretty much has most of the show. Highly recommend it. And there we go. That's, that's number 10 out of round four. So one more round to go. Here are the answers next for round five. <laughs> Oh. 
Round five, here we go. This was a new one. This was Jukebox Musicals. So I tell you the musical, you tell me who uh, is associated with it, whether it's a group, could be a singer, could be a writer, but who is associated with these shows? So number one, Beautiful, was Carol King. So number one, Carol King. Number two, Jagged Little Pill. It's a fairly new musical, this one. Some of you might not have realised it's a musical, but um, it's just open on Broadway. And it is by Alanis Morissette. A brilliant album by Alanis Morissette. Number two. Number three, We Will Rock You is, of course, Queen. So Queen is the answer there to number three. Four, Desperately Seeking Susan. Hmm, I know a lot of you will associate the film with Madonna, but the show is all songs by... Blondie, so well done if you got that. Blondie for number four. Number five breaks my heart because the show should have been so much better because it was based on the music of the Spice Girls and I love the th all things Spice Girls. So number five, Viva Forever, was Spice Girls. Number six, And Juliet. Uh, again, a sneaky one because it's uh, a mixed jukebox, but it's all written by Max Martin. So well done if you got that. And Juliet, wonderfully uplifting show. Um, all songs written by Max Martin. Number seven, the band, is the Take That musical. All the music of Take That. It's number seven. Number eight, The Bodyguard. Of course, it's Whitney Houston. All Big Belters by Whitney for number eight. Number nine, Sunshine on Leith. Lovely little musical. They did a film of it as well. Uh, and it's all music by The Proclaimers. So well done if you got that one. Number nine, The Proclaimers. And number ten, the last question of this quiz is Our House. It's the songs of madness. There you go. How did you do? How did you like the new rounds? Let me know if you thought they were terrible or let me know if you've got any ideas for other ones that I can do next time. There you go. 50 questions, 50 points. What did you get out of it? If it's a draw, if you're playing with teams or with other people, there's a tiebreaker coming up. But just want to say thank you for watching and sharing. I'm glad uh, this is getting out there and helping people have a bit of fun for a little bit of time. Um, so thank you yes thank you it's really fun to do so look after yourself stay safe and see you next time for those of you who need it here is the little bonus tiebreaker so inspired by our costume picture round round three uh, i thought i would pose this question so judy garland's ruby slippers for the film of The Wizard of Oz were not covered in rubies because it, that made them too heavy. So instead, they changed it to sequins. But how many sequins were used on each shoe? So, how many sequins per shoe were on Judy Garland's ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz? Go. Nearest one wins. I'm going to give you the answer. In five, four, three, two, one. The answer is 2,300 sequins per shoe. Hope that helped. There you go. We're glad you came, but we have to shout. Adios, au revoir, we don't say, come on, come on, come on.